Europe's first strongest man under 90 kilograms finals are on this weekend in Letterkenny. Up to 14 national winners from across Europe are going to be competing to see if they can carry the title. Joining me in studio are uh, Gavin Redmond, the current Irish champion of two years. Morning, Gavin. How are you today? And uh, Damon St. Ledger, the All Ireland strongman competitor. Good morning to you, Damon. You May I say I've had the handshakes coming in? They're, the bones in my hand are still completely intact. Uh, we can break them if you want. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, that's not an idle threat, is it? No, no. no. If, no, if you want. That's very easy, right? Very <laughs> good, right? Um, yeah, when I said under ninety kilograms, I was expecting smaller men, but there's nothing small about either of you, chaps. No. I say. <laughs> no. Ninety kilos is fourteen stone, whatever way you yeah, call it. It's so, not yeah. what way you look at it. But we there are, are bigger. But we are pretty average. Like there is one hundred five, and then there is the super heavyweights. Right. So, like ninety kilo is your normal guy on the street. Okay. How did you get into this, Damien? Friend, we see him doing it. Went to watch competition. He said, "Come to the gym, try it." fell in love with it and how hard was it? very hard it's yeah I'd tough. say so the first thing somebody said to me when I started was said get used to pain because you're going to be in it constantly and pretty much share in pain all the time so where's the attraction in that? <laughs> some people say pleasure comes from pain so <laughs> <laughs> they, they could be wrong then, yeah. you know? um, how difficult is it to get the physique that you have now? it takes a lot it's, it's hard training it's hard eating you know it, it doesn't happen overnight either yeah a lot of people seem to think, oh, I'll start the gym and I'll be massive. You won't be massive, you know. We're at this years. Um, years. Two, three years. Kevin started the two, year after. How did you start, Kevin? I saw um, a competition in El Scrody and with what I saw, uh, the weights that were being lifted, that I thought I could do, do that myself and I have done it in my own training, so... So you're already lifting <laughs> weights in training? Uh, yeah. Right. And Cause you're an architectural technician? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I uh, just uh, fell, fell in love with the with the sport once I saw What's it. What's there well. to love about it? That, well, I've know. always been lifting weights anyway, so yeah. I wanted to compete in something. And I looked into powerlifting, bodybuilding, and they just weren't for me. So uh, once I saw the strongman and realised that there was different weight categories, because I always thought that the strongman was for heavyweight guys. So once I realised there was a, a 90, uh, that suited me down to the ground. Right. And like, there's even 80 kilo ones in Britain, and there's 105, so... That's probably the future, maybe 105 for me. How many hours training? Is it everyday training? Um, leading up to a competition, I do probably about an hour in the morning, and yeah. maybe an hour and a half to two hours in the evening time, and that'd be five days a week. And that's in there, that's... Yeah. You can't really train on your own, sure you can't. Well, majority of the time you are. Like, four days you're, you're by yourself pretty much in the gym, and then, yeah. you, then you meet up with the lads at the strongman yard on a Sunday. Yeah, from about twelve to because I know the one I used to go to the gym all those years ago. <laughs> um, you'd walk past people lifting weights, and they always seem to be in a gang, and they always seem to be a kind of spotting. That, yeah, well, the term. Yeah, spotting. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have, have to, to help someone. Like, yeah. If they're yeah. lifting really heavy, you have to yeah. help them out in case yeah. the, the barbell falls down their yeah. chest or doing a bench press or something like that. Be dead, left there for weeks. Yeah, or trapped in the gym. Yeah, yeah. 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 the gym busy enough that you there for weeks. Well, nobody wants the story. They think you mean this. Yeah, going blue in the face to a bar and you're not. <laughs> he's really rare. He's practicing very hard, isn't he? He's been binned under that weight now for three weeks. Um, <laughs> see, a thing I'd noticed also was a lot of supplements going on mm -hmm. with people, a lot of drinking protein yeah. drinks and stuff. Do you do that? Yeah, uh, whey protein powder is what I, yeah. I consume for supplementation. What's that do to you? Um, when you're, when you're, say, you're lifting weights in the gym and once you finish your workout, your muscles are kind of torn. Um, so that you need the protein to help them build and recover. So okay. the protein is like protein a fast acting protein. Like, is that horrible though? I mean, no, it just no, tastes no. like milkshake. Some of them now can be a bit iffy, yeah. alright, but yeah. you get used to it. It looks like a punishment. No, it's, it's, like, it's quite good. Well, now I'm going to yeah. make you drink this kind of well, They come with flavour of strawberry. Do they really? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's God, just like a milkshake. But it's like, it's like medicine for children. It's <laughs> better than all tastes yeah. now, yeah. right? It's, it's impossible to eat enough food, like. so. You, what a fantastic side effect that is. Yes, so you just drink some more extra food, like. Every protein shake is another meal. How yeah. many calories do you need to consume and how many would you burn out? I don't calorie count and everybody else asks me this question. I never do. I just eat what I want when I want. What kind of stuff would you eat now? And if I was getting ready for a competition now, I'd be normally... I'd have high protein breakfast, porridge, eggs, then 10 o'clock I'd have a weight gain shake. Another two hours I'd have a couple of chicken fillets. And yeah. Depending on my weight, 
I might have some carbs or it could be salad. So basically every two... There's no two, mention of, of chocolate cake or crisps. Oh, I, I do have quite a few sweet teeth, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have a few cream buns in there every now and again, but you're basically eating every two and a half hours and it's mostly protein. It'll be chickens right. and steaks and... There could be some overweight people listening to this who are just realising that they're not overweight, they're just weightlifters who don't lift weights. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that could be. It, you know, they could turn their lives around yeah, uh, very easily. Sure. Is, there, is there side effects of, of <coughs> all that... Mm. I'm not experiencing anything. <laughs> no, <laughs> so no, it wouldn't be. Everything else is normal. You know, like okay, like if any normal person ate the food we eat in a day and didn't do the amount of work we do, yeah. yes, you are going to be obese. Well, according to our BMI scale, we are obese anyway. That's the thing. You yeah. know, is there a health? You know, because is there no, more demand on your we, your heart and lungs? We are healthier than somebody who is obese on the BMI scale. It's just right. like we don't have fat. Yeah, you know, so. That BMI scale doesn't mean anything to us. Like, okay, mean like Gavin is there. He's probably about eight percent body fat. To me, eight percent. You know, wow. And come tomorrow, he's going to be less because he's really. Struggling can for you weight. get it? Can you strip out the body fat that effectively? Yeah, like uh, have no choice because I'm usually about a 94, 95 kilo uh, uh, off season, and then yeah. leading up to a competition, um, I'd have to uh, go on a diet to get down to ninety kilo on the button. Right, you can't diet down too much because you're going to be too weak for the for the actual yeah. competition. Yeah. So you want to make sure you have you maintain the strength. And I read an article once about some um, kind of Mister Universe time, and in the runner things he would stop eating, but he would drink a bottle of wine that would dehydrate it's, him. That's bodybuilding. That's totally different. They're judged on looking yeah. like uh, an anatomy model type yeah. thing. You need to see everything in there. Yeah. Not doing that. Well, we don't do that, but yeah. he, Gavin is kind of going that direction because yeah, he's too heavy. Line, yeah. But right. he'll weigh in now tomorrow morning, then he can go off and eat like a pig all day. Really? And then... My dream. Um, <laughs> is the, your partners, do they appreciate a man with this physique or, or how does that work out? If Gavin take that one. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she would, but um, when it comes to the, the strong man, sometimes she'd be giving out because I'd be talking about it all the time or I'd be just looking up uh, competitions in the future and things like that, yeah, so... Right, she'd be, you're obsessed she'd be, with what you do. It, At the moment, I am, yeah. It can take all, over. They become we're, all wags. Obsessed, we're all obsessed with something. Yeah, they, you know? they become Come wags on. and they have no choice of it. And it's do they do weightlifting themselves? Some of them do. Gavin's. Well, no, I, I tried to right, get her in, but uh, she won't. She she come me at the start of yeah. our relationship, but uh, she just lost interest. Too much for her. Mm. Yeah, right. she does other exercise anyway. So. so the event is on the fourteenth and the fifteenth of September. Mm -hmm. um, how likely are we to, to to win? Do we think? I Gavin's good for top five at least. Anyway. Time yourself. You're putting yourself down there now. I'm Jane. not competing this year. Oh, I'm, right. I'm organising with Dave Warner. So. Why are you not competing? I injured myself last year. Last uh, year? It must have been a bad year. January of this year, sorry, yeah. yeah. And uh, I just I haven't you do? been back. I tore an erector in my spine. So ah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> so if, ever, if ever I heard an end of interview quote, I tore an erector, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. God, on, on that tear in eye moment, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. don't want to be tearing your erectors. That's, no, that's it was definite. pretty bad now. But <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, <Dave. laughs> thanks very much for joining us.